This tab section right here is created using a shortcode. All I did was copy and paste the shortcode. I changed the names for the tabs and I pasted a piece of lorem ipsum text into each one and it creates this functionality. This type of functionality is very hard to create if you code it manually. But with a shortcode, you use a little snippet, you add it to your site, you replace a few things, and it's much, much simpler. And so in this video, I'm gonna give you a primer on shortcodes, how they work, and how you might be able to use them on your website. This is part of the WordPress skills playlist on my channel. If you found this video helpful, you're gonna find that playlist super helpful. If you have any questions or comments specifically about this video, please leave them down below. I try to answer them the best I can. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, your customers, and for your business. And if you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. Let's get started. So to create this functionality, all I did was add the shortcode, like I said in the intro. And the shortcode we can find in this plugin that I added. I'll show you what all that's about, and then I'll show you how I edited the code inside of a post. So if I go to plugins and then add new, I just searched for shortcode, and there's loads of plugins that are associated with shortcodes. 9,000, in fact. And I installed this one right here, which gives some pre-made shortcodes for you to use. You can also make your own custom shortcodes. Once you get better at them, understand them better, you can use a plugin like this one to make your own custom shortcodes. But for now, we're just using shortcodes that are pre-made and a lot of plugins have shortcodes available. And from now on, you'll be able to recognize what they are. So if we go to the settings for this plugin over here under shortcodes, go to available shortcodes, we see there's 64 different options for shortcodes that are built right into the plugin. This is the free version. There's also a paid version to upgrade and probably get more. And I used this tabs one. So if I click into there, it shows a preview of what this will look like and how it works. Right now it's all the same content. Also it's just tab content, something actually looks like it changes, but it actually is changing, believe it or not. The shortcode that I used is right here. I just copied this and I just went to a post. This one right here, I went to edit and I added a block by clicking the plus icon. I use shortcode. You can also search for shortcode if it's not appearing on that list. I pasted the content in, and now if you save it, the tabs will be there. Let's just do that. Let's update this, and then come out here and refresh. We see a second set of tabs right here. It looks like nothing's changing because the content of all the tabs is the same. And so as far as short codes go, this one is a little more involved. Sometimes a short code is simply this right here. It starts with a square bracket, it always ends with a square bracket, and it has some stuff in the middle. And the easiest short codes you'll find look like this. And if you're finding this tutorial helpful, click the like button because that helps this video show up for more people on YouTube so we can spread the knowledge and help more people with this information. So make sure you click like if you like this video. And that does a certain functionality that a plugin adds to your site. This one is a little more complicated in that it has all this material here, but it also is customizable with the tab content. For this case, we have the title for the first tab, the title for the second tab, the title for the third tab. They're not labeled one, two, three, but you know they're one, two, three because the first one's first, second one's second, third one's third. You can also very easily add more tabs if you want. Just copy and paste this whole row Hit return or enter, add that in. I'll set a space here, two spaces. And now we have a fourth tab. And over here is the tab content. Whatever you type in here is going to appear in the content section, which is this section right here. And that's all there is to customizing the short codes. Something to be aware of is if you take out this square bracket, it's gonna break. You need to keep the square brackets in place. You need to make sure you're only editing the things you're supposed to edit. Otherwise, you just have to start over and try again. And like I said, this short code is a little more complex than most. I'm sure we can find some others in this list here that are much, much simpler. For example, the divider. This one should be pretty simple. So here's the short code for the divider. It is simpler in that it's one line, but there's still a lot of stuff going on. And you can customize the color, the width, everything using these options called parameters in here. So if we change the size, that would probably change how wide it is. We change the margin, now change how much space is on the top and the bottom. We change the link color by changing this hex code. We change the divider color by changing this hex code. This text up here, go to top, that's a link. That's part of the divider. You can change that text here or just remove it altogether by clicking delete. 
it doesn't update in real time here, but when you add it to a page, that link just won't be there. And this explains what all those parameters do. If we go back to our tabs, we see we can customize them substantially as well using all these parameters in here. And these parameters like style, active, vertical, mobile, these all just appear in here. So we have active equals followed by one, vertical equals followed by no, mobile equals followed by stack, all within quotes for the actual values and the values are what you see here. And like I said, this one's more complex than you see for a lot of short codes. Let's see if we can find an even simpler one. The spacer should be pretty simple, just a blank space. Here's a nice simple one. This will add a blank space, size of 20, and the size is the height in pixels. You can choose a number between zero and 800, and you just put that in here, and make sure the quotes are still there, and that'll add a space wherever you add the short code. And the amount of content you can add using short codes is incredible. And even though some of these look pretty complex, the actual code used to generate the functionality is far more complex. For example, if we just inspect this tab right here, let's go out of mobile view, let's increase the size. We have our tab starting here. So we have the, the tab nav and the tab panes for these two. If you click into these, they have a lot of content in here. Click into this one, there's a lot of content in each one. And that's just what you see on the screen. You also have JavaScript that the plugin adds to the header of your site, which allows the tabbing functionality. It doesn't happen just automatically. You have to have code that does that, which is all automatically done by the shortcode plugin. So even though the shortcode might look complex inside of the editor over here, is actually still far less complex than it is to actually code that by hand. And that's the power of shortcodes. You can use a little bit of code to make massive changes to your site in terms of functionality and appearance when you use shortcodes. If you found this video helpful, you're definitely gonna to wanna to check out this playlist right here. It's the WordPress basic skills playlist on my YouTube channel. It'll answer lots and lots of WordPress questions for you. So make sure you check that out. And if you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. My name is Bjorn Allpass in WP Learning Lab. Till next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.